Jesse Townsend. Jesse, as you know, is a personal trainer at Parkway Athletic Club in Reno, Nevada. You can check him out online. Welcome, Jesse. Hey, Steve. Good to be here, man. Hey, you know, so let's say I'm a new client and I, I have, you know, my thighs are a little big and I want to get them smaller or I have this big gut. So I'm sure you can give me some exercises to make my gut smaller, right? That like, like the ab machine, yeah. that'll work, right? Yeah, yeah, man, of course. So yeah, we can do, you know, just some crunches on a sit-up machine, you know, and as long as we have the recipe and, you know, we're dialing that in, let's call it uh, like three or four days a week and spend, uh, we'll say at least 20 minutes of each workout just doing the sit-ups. And then in no time, maybe a, maybe a month's time, you know, you'll have a six pack and for somehow all that fat in, in all that other, you know, tissue that you have in there and that body that needs to change. And, and it's just going to happen. You know, you don't need to eat okay. different or do anything else. All right. I hope you can all sense the sarcasm <laughs> oozing off of him. Yeah. Because that's what it's doing. And the thing about to, to get smaller, you got to lose body fat and to do that, you have to burn it. But here's the, look, here's the tough thing. We don't get to pick where our body burns the fat. And usually it, the place you want it to go the most is probably the place it's going to come off last. But we don't get to choose where we get smaller. We can ch help choose where we get bigger by lifting weights and doing resistance training. So, Jesse, how do we really yeah, so the, so get the some real, smaller? Yeah, the real way to, you know, dial in waistline or really to shrink any area that you want to shrink and cut inches off. Um, you know, a lot of that, of course, just like everything else that we talk about in relation to, you know, steps and, and ways to, you know, get this fitness and health thing on track. A lot of that's going to start in the kitchen. So, you know, the diet part of it is going to be probably your main effort there for getting inches off and, and making big change in what is considered, you know, your body's composition, right? So, yeah, there is, there is no way just to go back to where I was being, you know, playful is there is no way just to do an exercise. And that's it. This is like probably one of the most common things I get asked when I'm doing, you know, what is my, you know, educational interview, if you want to call it that my preliminary stage of getting somebody set up with a personal training program. And when I'm talking to people, that's something that a lot of the times when they're in a, uh, the, the beginning of a program, they want to rush right to, Hey, how do I get my waist smaller? How do I get my legs, you know, to be tighter? Or, you know, how do I get, you know, whatever part of their body to shrink basically? Um, and just like I'm saying here, the answer is always the same. There is no, you know, direct quick um, function to do it. There is no answer except for what is the right one. And that's going to be diet, um, cardio, you know, cardio obviously can help us burn some more calories, but that's what it is. It is burning fat, right? And there's approximately 3,500 calories per pound of fat. Um, that's what the tissue is, is comprised of as far as a calorie standpoint goes. And so to understand the energy output that it takes, you know, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes proper eating and these co combination of things, again, like I said, speed it up with some cardio, um, speed it up with some, like, let's call it higher intensity workouts. If you can handle that sort of thing. And if, if your heart is healthy enough and you're in the right place to do that, meaning keep your your heart rate higher as you do your, your program is if it's like a resistance training program, you're following with a mixture of cardio. Again, your heart's not going to know the difference, whether you're on a treadmill or you're doing resistance training at a higher pace and keeping your heart rate sped up a little bit. So you burn more calories and, and in sense, burn some more fat, right? But it's going to come down to, again, not putting back in this energy and these calories that you burn to a percentage where you're going to continue to gain or put on extra fat. Right. So, um, and again, long-term, you know, putting in that resistance training and putting in those hours on, in that program, you're going to build muscle. Muscle is a catalyst for burning fat. You know, every pound of muscle that you add to your body is going to burn approximately 50 calories extra per day. And that's at rest. So that doesn't mean that you have to be active to burn those calories. So, um, 
these things is, is what it takes, right? To really do and, and trim up waistline or whichever place it is that you're trying to work on. Yeah, great input, Jesse, as always. Uh, just to close this uh, quick uh, video out, the thigh machine that you move in and out is not going to make your legs thinner. It's going to make them look wider because that's what you're doing. Um, same with the ab machine. If you want to try a machine that will help you reduce the size of your body, try the treadmill. So thanks for being with us, Jesse, at uh, Parkway Athletic Club. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.